take a moment to read the question. We have to find out the value of this limit. How do we do this question? Well, the first step would be to write down the given limit. Now we can rearrange this limit to write it down in this form. So we have multiplied the numerator and the denominator both by x to write it down in this form. Now this limit can be split into the product of the following two limits. Now each limit here is a standard form. We know that the limit of sin x by x as x tends to 0 is equal to 1. Now also when x tends to 0, x squared would also tend to 0, which means each of these limits is equal to 1. And therefore it is 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. So the correct answer is option B.